Terry yeah, Lawson, no. uh, Professional Scope Race in Australia. Good to meet you. US and UK multinationals have been operating private prisons in Australia for about 10 years. You might be surprised to hear that uh, Australia has 20% of its entire population under private management control, which is uh, the largest percentage in the world today. Hi, how are you going? Terry Lawson. Nice to meet you. Thank you. We have everything from our, uh, our standard 452 uh, sing ball grenade. We like to term them uh, instant attitude adjustment and behavior modification devices. Hey, 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 let's calm down. Let's calm down. Hey, put the rake down. Uh, put the rake down. No, put the rake down. Put the rake down. Drop it. It's become an industry which uh, in the United States, for instance, has replaced the, uh, the war machine uh, rather than uh, directing the resources to fighting a war outside of the country. Uh, they're directing the resources to building institutions who have social control, which are managing those people who could be non-conformist within their own community. The first touch is a shock. If you are silly enough, the second touch, you're dead. Australia is a wonderful market. Recently, we developed a new machine, and it is actually designed to do penal searches. It is called the PC, or Pecker Checker. People have said, it's happening in America, it must be positive, it's a private sector, let's just introduce it and see what happens. What we found in Australia is that the private sector has not promoted competition, it's promoted greater secrecy, it's promoted less flow of information, it's led to concealment. CCA offers a, what we call a full package arrangement. We can provide design, construction, obviously management, which is our core business, and also finance if governments wish to go down that track. We provide true support, point-to-point -point interaction, based in Miami, Florida, to anywhere in the world. The issue of crime and punishment is a very local issue and by us contracting it out to overseas people it's as if we're washing our hands of it and, and it's as if we can McDonaldize uh, prisons like uh, you can fast food. We have a number of facilities in Australia now that are privatised. Does that keep the public sector workers in line? It does, yeah. Sort of I mean, one of the nice things trade, about trade, that's trade right, off, that. it's brought a uh, competition into the, uh, into the industry, right, which it's never had for 200 years. One protester tried to block the Premier's car and others threw blood money at him as he arrived to open Raven Hall. Yesterday, Victoria's first private prison opened for business. Raven Hall in Deer Park will house 125 women prisoners, replacing the old Fairley complex. We are committed to ensuring that every possible opportunity is provided for all women in this centre. This new women's prison is operated and owned by the private contract of the Corrections Corporation of Australia, so removing the risk from government, a risk that we are obviously trying to minimise in the way in which we manage the affairs of this state in a whole range of areas. The public system, you knew where you stood. It was consistent. It was like you knew what to expect. If, if you did something, you knew what you were going to what you were going to end up copying. Um, whereas here, it's different rules for different falls. I think the private jails, it's going to explode because of the frustration. Like every day, there is some type of frustration because of inconsistency with rules. There'll just be a build-up. It's a private prison. The conditions are different. You never have these things in Pentridge. What's going on? Good. Yeah, yeah. 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 Any room for another one to jump in? No. You never had a shower in your cell in Pentridge. 
you never stayed out till 7.30 of an evening in Pantridge. It's totally different. Well, in Australia, there are some very significant differences in the operation of the private prisons than in the United States. For a start, nationally, 20% of our prison cells are now in the hands of private uh, operators, whereas in the United States, it's, it's certainly less than 5%. US-based companies, Corrections Corporation of America and Wackenhut Corrections dominate the market. They run through their subsidiaries, Corrections Corporation of Australia and Australasian Correctional Management. A third UK-based company, Group 4, also manages, builds and designs prisons in Australia. Victoria has actually engaged in an extraordinary experiment in privatisation. We've thrown ourselves into it with more gusto than any other area of the world. We've now got, uh, I think we're now over 50% of the prisoners in custody in Victoria are privatised. And it's not just the prisons that are privatised. The holding cells are being privatised, prisoner transport is being privatised. All of the health and educational services for prisoners are apt to be provided by private service providers. The entire system is being moved out of public control into the private realm. 